tourniquet above the planned site and you pull up tightly and then underneath and then this is where you can release the tourniquet. Make sure that you're comfortable when you do this. It's probably better to select a site before you start working. A little digital pressure and counter traction on the skin gives you a real good idea of where you're going to work. So here's my prep. And I've got counter traction with my non operative hand. This is a 28 gauge needle on a TB syringe. So counter traction with my non operative hand. And I brace against my non operative hand as I approach the skin. Traction away from the vessel. Here's a pinch. And you're in the in the dermis, and you raise a wheel. Should be a wheel that you see, and it will appear as a mosquito bite or a bee sting. Turns the skin white. Just very slow, gentle pressure, and you won't hurt your patient. That's about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 cc's. I'm not rushing. Take that out. I remove my needle guard. Once again, I retract the skin with my non-operative hand, and then I enter the wheel slowly and carefully and line up with the vessel. When I enter the vessel, there's a nice flashback Continue counter traction and with your operative hand, then you just advance the cannula. Take your non operative hand, put it over the tip of the IV, and then you take your connector and you can connect to the IV. I should have done this. One drop, two drop, three drop. Clean up your site, and you take your tegaderm, place it over your site, and you want it to be in line with the vein. And then I use a piece of tape to secure it so that it won't catch and be pulled out with a loop closest to the syringe. In that manner. And then the rest of this will connect to your IV tubing. And again, it freely injects.